planets revolve around the sun. A revolution is the movement of a planet along its orbit. And orbit, remember, is that elliptical oval-like path that is kind of like the trail or the path that the planets follow. So as you can see, Earth is revolving around the sun, following its elliptical orbit, its oval path. So notice that as Earth revolves around the sun, it moves around the sun, the axial tilt does not change. So when Earth is at its perihelion, closest to the sun, notice the northern hemisphere's axial tilt, right here, okay, is pointed away from the sun. All right, and that tells me it's going to be winter. So isn't that funny that when Earth is closest to the sun, we in the north are actually having our colder temperatures. And then as Earth continues to revolve and we get to our aphelion, Earth's farthest distance from the sun, notice my axial tilt in the north is pointed toward the sun. So guess what season it is? You got it. It is summer. So, it takes Earth 365 and one-fourth days to revolve or move around the sun, also known as one year, 12 months, or even 52 weeks. So, this year, 2016, it is a leap year, and so that means that in February, instead of having 28 days, we have 29, and that's because we had four years of that quarter. So remember, it's 365 and a quarter days. So four of those quarter days added up, and that made this year, 2016, to have that leap year, that extra day in February. So now let's think about this. We're going to apply what we learned just now about Earth to another planet, Uranus. Now, Uranus is revolving or moving around the sun. All right, notice its axial tilt also does not change. This is the same for all the planets. However, it takes Uranus 84 Earth years to make it one time around the sun. So, I wonder what the reason is. Well, the reason it takes Uranus's period of revolution, 84 Earth years, is because Uranus is so much farther away from the sun. And so that's why it takes so much longer for Uranus to travel along its elliptical orbit. So my question to you is which of the eight planets, and please write this on loose leaf and turn into the tray, which of the eight planets that revolve around our sun has the shortest period of revolution, meaning the shortest amount of time it takes to revolve around the sun once, and which planet has the longest period of revolution, meaning it takes the longest amount of time to travel around the sun. Please write those two. The first has to be the shortest period of revolution, and the second needs to be the longest period of revolution, and put it in the tray. Don't forget your name.